Hi, I'm Ryan Sipos. I'm Emily Mervica. I'm Nathan Isham. And this is our video lab report for Lab 7 Interference. This is the Young's double slit interferometer experiment. A red Heaney laser is passing through a double slit aperture and projecting an interference pattern onto a ruler at the end of the table. The fringes are created by the interference between two cylindrical waves created by the laser passing through the slits. We used this equation to calculate the slit spacing. We took the derivative of the slit spacing in terms of the fringe spacing and in terms of the distance from the slit to the fringes in order to calculate the error of our slit spacing. We took our measurements at two different distances and then calculated the average slit spacing and error for both of our trials. As you can see, our average slit spacing was less than that in the system specs and our error was greater than that by the system specs. We will not be ordering these slits. Okay, so this is Lloyd's Mirror Interferometer with a CCD camera. We're going to use experimental data from this setup to model this equation. So we'll change our delta D by moving the mirror up and down and we'll measure our fringe spacing in pixels with a MATLAB program and then convert it to microns. So we'll graph this in Excel with delta D as our Y and this as our X so that we can find our wavelength as the slope. Okay, so here's our Excel plot with delta D as our Y and this nonsense as our X and as you can see we got a slope of negative 0.6199 microns which makes sense because the actual wavelength is about 0.633 microns. So we were pretty close. This is the two-point interference experiment. For this experiment, a ripple tank was set up with two dippers to set up to represent two point sources. Traces were made for the dark regions of the interference pattern for five, six, and seven wavelengths difference <clears throat> for in and out of phase. These were found by increasing the frequency because as the in frequency was increased, the number of dark fringes also increased. The difference between the in and out of phase traces was simply a shift in the position of the dark regions. Here we have an, out of, an in phase drawing with an out of phase ripple tank. As you can see, the dark phases of the in, fa of the dark, of the in phase match the out of phase bright lines. Also, the dark fringes as seen in the class model very closely match the dark fringes that were observed in the ripple tank.